Hey everyone, my name's Kevin, and today I'm going to be carving this uh, espresso tamper. Check it out. The material for this project was just a small piece of scrap maple. The tools I used were a Japanese pull saw, some chisels, and a couple of gouges. I struck a line square and then cut to it with my pull saw and swept up a little bit. Next I traced out the tamper that I had before uh, so it would be about the same size. I just used a simple F-style clamp and it worked really well. Grain selection was key here. Um, when you're cutting with a chisel and taking off big hunks, you want to make sure you cut into the grain and not with the grain, like that. Um, you'll end up chipping out pretty bad. This was done with all chisels. Um, it would have been much faster with a lathe, but unfortunately I don't have one, so it was a whole lot of this. If only it went this fast. And I almost got tripped up here with this grain, but luckily I remembered to flip it. I wasn't sure if this part would chip out here, but uh, I got a little confidence from the other side there and just went for it and it worked out. So here I'm just marking with pencil uh, the areas that need a little attention uh, and then I put it upside down and chiseled down into it. Not the most ideal to chisel to where you can't see but I was really limited by the grain direction here. Once all the heavy pairing was done uh, I finished by bringing the work to the chisel instead of bringing the chisel to the work. It felt a little more precise. Next I laid out for the top knob. Uh, this is where you're going to get a hand grip on this thing. And I uh, started chiseling into it just to give the gouge something to ride along and bite into. Then began the tedious process of carving the recess. This is about 20 minutes worth of carving, condensed into about 10-15 seconds. I think all in all, uh, the carving took about an hour. I shaped the top of the knob with a big flat chisel and kind of just cut to where it felt comfortable in my hand. And then I added a checkerboard pattern on top. This is pretty tedious to do with a one millimeter gouge, but I like the way it turned out. At this point, most of the carving is done. Next, I resawed a small piece of paduk to serve as the face of the tamper. The first one I had made, I used an end grain tamping face, and it tends to stick to the grounds a little bit. So this is why I'm gluing on this little slice of face green to the bottom. This part of the vise was pretty handy for keeping things flat. I was gluing this together.
Since I was using Type Bond, I could just clean it up with a paper towel and a little bit of water and save myself some work later on. And another cleanup. Because I used the anvil for the glue up, everything stayed nice and flat. I started cutting the corners off with a chisel, but quickly realized it would be a better job for the saw. Here you see my very mature wood burning practice. I finished paring it down to flush with a chisel. And then sand it a little bit with this abrasive mesh. And just one more cleanup before the best part. And guys, that's about it for this espresso tampered build video. Thanks again for tuning in today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. I'll have a lot more videos like this, you know, smaller projects. And I'll also have some larger, more detailed, fine furniture projects coming in 2019. If you're interested in this exact espresso tamper, I'm going to be giving it away over on my Instagram page. And I'll put a link to that in the video description below. Thanks again for tuning in to my channel today, guys. And until next time. Take it easy.